Uh, great win for you today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. The, 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 the score flattered us slightly, but yeah, it was a good win. Good performance. Good bounce back from Tuesday. Number 11, Brian Matthews had a good game. He did all right. He did all right. He's not been firing on all cylinders the last couple of games, but you know now he's uh, he's back on track, and that's how he should be every game, to be honest. And uh, Wayne Welbeck came on, uh, had a good half. He's not done too bad. Yeah, this is his first outing because obviously he pulled his hamstring pre-season. It's good to get him back in, and he does what he does best, which is uh, terrorise centre halves. Uh, your first season here at Winsford. Uh, how's it going for you so far? It's been great. The committee's been great. You know. Whatever I've asked for, I've got really, and it's just up to me to try and get the results on the pitch, so no complaints. And uh, looking forward to the rest of the season after today? Yeah, obviously, different teams bring up different challenges. You know, I knew Liverpool wouldn't be an hard team to beat because I went and watched them against Main Road, and you know, they grafted well. And like I say, they got one or two goals against them, and the Reds went a little bit, and we took advantage of that. But you know, Paul will get into the ribs and he'll make things better, so to speak. But yeah. I'm quite happy just to get a decent win under our belts, to be honest. Instead of a close game like we've been doing, so, yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> if you don't, I'm buggered. Um, in all honesty, um, we started out OK the first ten minutes. Scored a goal on the front foot. Then, lo and behold, we decided to take a quick free kick when no-one's ready. They go and score and we don't get back from it. Uh, but today, unfortunately, there's been a... A good few of them have proved to me that they're not good enough. In, uh, in, in reality, that's a fact. Um, I'll obviously have to sit down now and have a good think about it. I thought, you know, OK, you know, if I want to look for an excuse, I've got, like, obviously, my, my defenders are all injured. I've got, like, four midfielders playing two centre-half, one right-back, one left-back, but at the end of the day, they still they play football. All they're doing is the, the same job, but... Just a little bit further back, uh, so that's going to be an excuse. Then it's an excuse, but today I'm so, so, so disappointed. And like I said, uh, I'll be having a few words with one or two of them because they've proved to me today. Not, not, not so much. You know, I always have a little saying. I mean, I'm not taking nothing away from Winsford, uh, but it's how you get beat. Just don't lie down. Uh, and I, and I fell from, you know. Everyone just seems to have their heads down. We know look, that's football that happened. You know, we we've gone and won six six three last week. Could have been six one. But credit to Blackpool at the time they bounced back at Wigan in midweek. We win, get beat midweek, and now it's followed on to here. Um, is there any positives? No, no, not whatsoever. Uh, the negatives, obviously, there's plenty of negatives, uh, but I'll. Gonna have a word with them in the dressing room, uh, sort one or two things out. But well, you know, I've always asked them. You know, I'm honest. I've asked them for an honest performance, and I've, I haven't even got, I haven't even got the H. Uh, so I don't know. I, d I really don't know what to say, Paul, uh, because I'm dumbfounded. To be fair, really dumbfounded. And I haven't done none of these lads any bad. Uh, but today they've embarrassed me. They've embarrassed the football club, and they've embarrassed the people at Boston. Yeah, it seemed as though winter goals weren't really especially hard to create for them because we haven't put pressure on the pitch all over and that's one thing I discussed uh, when we got here we had a good a good 40 minutes talking about pressing the ball all over the areas and I, and I think um, one or two of them are unfortunately starting to read about themselves with the little bit of praise that they've had early, early in the season and, and pre-season uh, but reality's come to them now reality you know whatever formation they try and play at the end of the day you're supposed to be a decent player go and play the football but one thing I do always ask for this football club the people that run it the people that support it and myself this gives it effort if you can't give it effort then you've got no chance you've certainly got no chance with me and today far 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 too many didn't want to work I think to be honest they're thinking of going this V festival or whatever it is because that's the talk well they can stay there because I won't put up with it and I know I said it to the night and it asked me today it's the hardest day of my life being a, a AFC Liverpool manager and it's not nice uh, because it does hurt me but you know I'm big enough and ugly enough to trust myself down and I will change the thing it'll be changed by Wednesday if, uh, you know especially if I get one or two injuries back it'll be changed there uh, because like I said earlier on there's a few out there that were just not good enough 12 goals 
two games. It's not looking good at the back, is it? Well, no, I mean, again, you know, I can use the excuse that I've got midfielders playing there and they're doing me a job. I can be overcritical if I want, I mean, but at the end of the day, some of the goals could have all been prevented and the 12 goals that you, you, you know, you rightly said, they all could have been prevented. Um, you know, but I'll look at that side again. Um, but even going forward today, you know, apart from the first 15 minutes, it, it was good. It was good until we done what we've done. And then we've crucified ourselves because, OK, it's gone to 1-1, how do you react? Well, they react so negative and, and you know, it's nice to turn around and say, well, is it my fault, is it my formation, is it... No, it's not. It's not. They've all got had the job to do and they haven't done it. From one man to the well, to the 13. To be fair, Chris Brown, come on. To be fair, did the kid and work his socks off for 20 minutes. That's what it's all about. And I know it's only 20 minutes, but he set a tone. Danny Wilkinson, come on, set a tone. You know, but we have to have a look, and I'll look, I will look at it, because uh, they won't be going on for a bit, because I've got a few guys things to say to them. Was this uh, a lower feeling than you ever had at any time last season, when even though you were losing, it was only by the odd goal? Yeah, I mean, when, when I lost all them games last year, the one thing I got off the lads was honesty, and I never got honesty today. That's the disappointment, and I feel very, very let down. Uh, and, it's, you know, we, we've been well up to 8-1, you know, but I'm not being funny. Every goal, if you look at a video, could have been prevented. And it's just, you know, like I've always said, just, if you're honest with me, I'm honest with you. Give me an hour and a half of your time, you know, and, and the club try and look after you in, in the last specs. I, I just, I'm just lost for words in the sense of I just can't believe that that side went out, a side that I picked and performed in such a negative way. It's, it's untrue. Do you just uh, write this one off and then just have a clean slate come Wednesday? Well, it's got to be clean because I'll be out in the month tomorrow and I'll be getting players hopefully signed in and, and want to do then, you know, people, I said I said that last week, I'm not waiting for ten games and, and eight games and nine games. I want them in the, the ground run and if it's not, if they're not off for it, then they'll go. Uh, because, again, I get questioned. I get questioned as ma uh, manager, I get questioned as a person. Uh, and I think I'm an all right person. I think I'm an all right manager. But sometimes, you know, other managers probably have the same feeling where they've had a bad day at the office, if you like. But all we ever ask for is just give us a little go. Have a go for me. Have a go for the club. And I never got that today, and that's the disappointing thing. They just slide down and just got walked all over. Full stop. And again, I can only apologise to people that come and watch this football team. Because that's so not me, to have that type of person playing on that football pitch. I won't have it. And again, you know, it's easy to sit there and go, oh, I feel sorry for myself, this, that and the other. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'll just touch myself down because I'm a strong-willed character and I'll, I'll just move forward and I'll keep going forward. But it's just a pity that we started off in pre-season well. We started off first league game well. OK, I've had some injuries, but we've got to sort it out. And I'll sort it out sooner rather than later. Yeah, this is just a major, major blow today uh, for myself personally. Uh, I haven't enjoyed one minute of it. That is all right, though. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Not a problem, and thanks very much for your support. Cheers, Macy, thank you.